So first of all, we see how to convert octal into binary number. So in this example, we have to convert octal number into binary number and we are given with a floating point number, okay? So we know that 2 is to power 3 is equal to 8. So we will have the table that has 8 rows and 3 columns. Alright, so first of all we will look at the digit 6 and we will find the digit 6 in the table. So where is the digit 6 in the table? Here is the digit 6 and its binary value is 1 1 0. So we write 6 as 1 1 0. Now we move to the next digit that is 6 again and we will write 6 as 1 1 0. Now comes the decimal point. So decimal point comes here and then we get the digit 4. So now we will find the value of 4 in the table. So where is the value of 4 in the table? Here is the value. So the binary value of 4 is 1 0 0. So we write 4 as 1 0 0. So now we can say that the final value we calculated is 1 1 0. So now we have calculated all the values and we can write the answer as 1 1 0 comes from here, 1 1 0 comes from here and then the decimal point maintain its position and then 1 0 0 comes from here. So we can say that the value 66.4 in octal is equal to 1101101.100 in binary. So now we have converted the number from octal into binary and we have completed the first part. Okay. So in the next section we will see we have done this and now we will see how to convert binary into hexadecimal to complete the conversion octal into hexadecimal. Okay. So now we move ahead. So now we are going to convert binary into hexadecimal just like we did it previously. All right. And in this example, we are dealing with a floating point number. So we are given with an example 111110.100 in binary and we have to convert it into hexadecimal. So we know that 2 raised to power 4 is equal to 16. So we have that same hexadecimal table. So now we will make group of 4 bits while moving away from the decimal point, just like we did it previously. So first of all we will write 1110, then we have 11 one from here, then comes the decimal point and then 100 from here. So now while moving away from the decimal point we will make first group, then we will make the second group and we can see that we need 4 bits to make a group and in this group we have 2 bits so we will add 2 more zeros to it. 1 0 and the second 0. So now when we look at 1 0 0 we will move away from the decimal point that is from left till right. So now in this group we can see that we have 3 bits and we need 4. So we will add 1 additional 0 to it. Alright. So now we have completed the group of 4 bits. So now we will look at their values in the table. So first of all, we will find 1110 in the table. Here is 1110 in the table and it is equal to which digit in hexadecimal? That is E. So we write 1110 as E. Next we will find the value 0011 in the table. So where is the value 0011 in the table? Here is the value 0011 in the table and it is equal to 3. So we write 3 here. Next the decimal point will maintain its position. So it comes here and next we will take the binary value 1000 and we will find it in the table. So where is the value 1000 in the table? Here is the value and it is equal to which hexadecimal digit? That is 8. So we write 8 here. So now by combining them all together, we will find its answer. So we can say that the answer is 3e.8 in hexadecimal. Or you can say that the number 
10.10.100 in binary is equal to 3e.8. So remember that this is the final part of the conversion. So we can say that the number 66.4 in octal is equal to 3e.8. Remember we did the conversions into two parts. First of all we converted octal into binary and then we converted binary into hexadecimal. So this is the final answer. So now we have done the octal into hexadecimal. In the next section we will see how to convert hexadecimal into octal.